We explore thumb plus pen interaction in three technology probes, a spreadsheet, a web browser, and a drawing tool to cover a diversity of application scenarios. The spreadsheet allows for productive work in a laid back tablet scenario. By default, users select cells with the pen and perform pan and zoom with touch. In addition, three widgets combine spring-loaded modes and marking menus. The first widget is a marking menu that allows users to configure the spring-loaded mode. When the user thumbs the spring-loaded mode, the pen takes on the configured function. For example, the ink mode allows annotation of the spreadsheet. The ink is context-aware and binds to the selected cells. The second widget allows users to format cells using several submenus. Indirect thumb input chooses a style from the submenus. Tapping applies the style to the selected cells. Users can also hold and then apply the style by drawing with the pen. Copy and paste can be conducted in two strokes, affording the interleaving of pan zoom operations, or in a single stroke. Another mode enables direct manipulation of numeric data. The pen adjusts the numbers. Close to the cell, the pen makes fine adjustments. Moving further away results in larger scale changes. The third widget provides indirect zooming. Sliding the thumb on the widget zooms at the pen's position. Users can then readily interleave zooming with other tools, such as copy and paste. Our second probe is a web browser, where we explore thumb plus pen techniques for navigation shortcuts. By default, the pen writes, which allows the user to annotate websites, but the user can precisely click small links by a single tap of the pen, and touch manipulates. The user's thumb scrolls the page. Tapping a link while the thumb is pressed loads the page in a background tab. The user can continue browsing while it loads. Holding both pen and thumb opens a marking menu. This menu allows quick forward and back navigation, or through an indirect handle, riffling through the browser tabs to switch pages, as well as switching between inking versus text selection modes for the pen. Context menu appears after the user selects text. The user can access the menu using only the pen, only the thumb, or the thumb and pen together. This can help make consecutive tasks more efficient. Since typing is inconvenient in many situations, thumb input also supports writing in the address bar. Horizontal thumb movement slides the address bar to create more space, and vertical thumb movement scrolls through alternate recognitions for the selected word. Our third probe is a drawing tool that provides a grid menu to configure drawing modes. Users can configure two modes individually, the pen input mode, the thumb input mode. This allows users to freely combine pen modes with thumb modes. This affords zooming into detailed regions and using the pen to draw. Manipulating a continuous attribute, such as transparency of an object that's indicated by hover, or concurrent control of an object's location with the pen and layer with the thumb. We have explored simultaneous thumb and pen input on tablets, across applications, concepts, and interaction techniques, which demonstrates the potential to extend the capabilities and thus the productive value of tablets. Even when used in casual and relaxed postures, 
where existing pen plus touch techniques may not be feasible.